Yo, what up you guys? It's your boy the Kryptonian saying here bringing you a review for <clears throat> One Piece chapter 109. And yo, okay, so the cover story, you know, I've been laying off of them for the last couple ones, but you know, my boy Kobe and the useless little shit face scrunch face munchkin bastard are crying their eyes out because apparently they're being scolded cuz a little useless little shit washed up on the ship. I was really hoping he drown like at sea and we never saw his ass again but that's neither here nor there man i had a feeling his punk ass was showing back up but this chapter picks up where the last one left off and whoo the action this is really action heavy so zoro gets hit with a pretty decent three-team attack you have uh agent nine or excuse me mr mystery man number nine and uh, Miss Wednesday and the other boy, they're all working together, right? And it at first you're going, okay, this is a little wacky. And I'm thinking like Zoro, like seriously, this is a fearsome bounty hunters group. And he's basically one-shotting these dudes. Like in the last chapter, I left this out on purpose because I had a feeling that fucking hole that he had was going to come back into, into play. When the people try to jump down from the roof and kind of impale them and they fell through the hole that he made. I feel that was coming in there because one of the things that I've noticed with Oda is at least when it comes to the battles, the surroundings come into play. Like when you think about Luffy and Don Creek, like the surrounding objects came into play during that fight. Same with Luffy and Arlong and Arlong Park. So I was watching this and I was like... This is Zoro's moment to shine. This shit's coming back up. And sure enough, it did because Zoro used that as an opportunity to escape. But the thing is, is, you know, uh, Miss Wednesday, she's got this, uh, like, duck or something. I'm not sure what it is, a bird. And she's like, I'll show you the true power of a panther is Karu. And the crazy thing about it is I'm watching... Zoro basically one shot all these people that look like fodder and at one point I'm like if he takes out the 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 capo because the boss has left so if he's taking out the capo I'm officially going to be done with this shit like not one piece I'm not going to go on a on a rant over it but I was really hoping to see Zoro kind of go balls out and the the crazy thing is this is actually Miss Wednesday who kind of turns the tables a little bit because Miss Wednesday uses vertigo which if you guys have not had a bout of it that's some very serious shit like hands down like that that's I don't wish that on anybody like straight up I don't wish that on anybody so just getting into that so when she's kind of got like the little hypnotism stuff going on with her shirt which is shit my laptop just died on me <laughs> but when she's got the laptop oh, fuck sorry when she's got the circles going on her shirt and she's kind of moving her hips from side to side and it's kind of hypnotizing Zoro I thought that it was pretty cool that Oda brought right back that because remember I told you guys that I wasn't too big of a fan of her design at first but seeing how he quickly moved back to that, I was really hoping that it might be uh, Sanji when I was reading this. Like I was like, damn it, why isn't Sanji here? Because I could see Sanji just being nosebleed completely out of this because she's basically dancing and it's knocking knocking Zoro out, man. Like that that was that was very nice. That was that was very nice. Like I was really hoping and I'm hoping going forward that there's gonna be some Sanji and Miss Wednesday interaction because Sanji did note early on that she's beautiful and that's a weakness for him. So that was nice, but that it's just enough to leave Zoro disoriented. And yet he still got his wits about him enough to where he's able to make an escape. So that was pretty cool. And then there's also this shot where after the fact, when Zoro's managed to escape, Zoro gets threatened by, again, it's Miss Wednesday after his arm gets cut in a, uh, well, not cut, but caught in a steel rope. And he's got Luffy, and she's basically threatening to, to gut him. And if you'll look, Zoro's like, what the fuck am I going to do with you? Because he's saying, fool, at least be awake when you're taking a hostage. And for me... I thought that that was a nice touch by Oda because the last time something serious happened on their journey, 
it was uh, Zoro who was asleep. Now it's Luffy. I mean, just seeing how quickly he flipped things around, and you see Luffy's laissez-faire approach to it. Because last time it's like, guys, get the get the rice balls with the seaweed in them, and just build up your strength. Zoro's like, oh, fuck you, Luffy. Seriously, that's that like that's the vibe I got for Zoro. Zoro's like, fuck you, Luffy. What the fuck am I gonna do with you? Like that that's the vibe I got. So just seeing that like their personalities was pretty cool, but. Zoro at one point man he's taking the rope and I was so expecting him to do this he's taking the rope he's swinging the dude around I believe that was uh, mystery number nine or mystery person number eight he's swinging old boy around knocking his ass crazy and then Zoro's like Luffy lend me that big belly of yours and he uses him at which is smart I didn't see that coming but he uses it as a trampoline and he bounces up in the air and right here, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is some Kenshin Humora type shit. That looks straight up like the uh, Kami Kashin style. I think that's how you say it. It's been a minute since I've read it. But, now, Hiten Mitsurugi style. That's what it is. It, that looks like something straight up the Hiten Mitsurugi style. Where you see how he's got the hand. It looks like what Kenshin's got, but he's basically... Looks like he's disemboweled with this dude, or at least cut him up enough to where he's going to pass out from the injuries. But right here, everyone is knocked out. Very good chapter. So my chapter question to you guys is going to be, what were your thoughts about what I said about Luffy basically being out and Zoro having to you know, be flipped on it? Because Oda... It's a parallel between the two. You know, I, I really liked it. You know, I, I was a real big fan of how he did the parallels in the uh, Sir, I think it was Sir Village arc, the one where Usopp got introduced. I loved how he did the parallels in that. And now we have parallels between Luffy and Zoro, and this is on some brotherhood type stuff. Like, granted, both of them were kind of knocked out, but just seeing that was a pretty nice touch. You know, it, it shows even the smallest of details comes back up in one piece which i'm a really big fan of but guys that's it for this review if you liked anything i had to say as always comment rate subscribe share i'll greatly appreciate it that's it thanks for watching kryptonian saying have an awesome day